Mustafa Gbandi is a deputy general secretary of the NDC in charge of operations. Mustafa, how is the or how are the grounds looking like? Oh, relatively very peaceful election, and uh, a very I would say 70, 80 percent transparent election. The ECD did their best, but what is most shocking is that MPP engaged in widespread vote buying. You know, um, Omaru, you cannot imagine. Uh, how much money this government have come to spend in the exercise of vote buying. And these are not exaggerations. These are issues that we have evidence to issues that uh, European observers, these are issues that the British High Commission that is part of the observer team have all complained and worried about. They, they've been engaged in vote buying, fiscal vote buying. Go and vote, take a picture and come for money. But apart from that, and, I think and, that and, generally... And this, these organizations you mentioned have complained. They complained publicly or privately to you? Um, the, the, most of them spoke to me in private about uh, what's my, my observation about these things. And for me, I have so, had to so tell it them that, that... it means that they will not be willing to go public and say what you have just said they have said? I do not think so. But I believe that the MPP themselves... We have evidence to all of them. We have videos. We have audio recordings. Of of these uh, these things that they have done, and, and it's quite shameful. And you it's have videos of shameful. people taking photos of their ballots after voting and being given money. We have videos of all that I'm talking to you about tomorrow. And this was taken today, just today, from this morning till this time. In as much as the election has been very peaceful, it's been it's been an issue of vote by. And your agents at all these polling stations did not raise issue with any of these occurrences. The police, led by the Inspector General of Police, are there. None of them, you've not reported to the IGP or his men on the ground to arrest anyone you saw filming the process? Primarily, um, we didn't want to obstruct the process. It's not an obstruction. We, you, are, you, are, we, you are just we, bringing the law engaged, enforcement agencies we agreed, in. We agreed at stakeholders that this election would have to be peaceful. Government has a responsibility not to engage in unethical election practices. They have a responsibility not to engage in that. And so to even get engaged in this shameful act in their own stronghold, which is supposed to be their backyard, uh, what would the police do? The police would arrest, and they don't care whose ox is God. That's what the IGP said, and that's why they are there. You should have reported well, we, to them first of all. If you have not, then it means you are just uh, spreading. Um, in in the rumors. coming days, in the coming days, I'm sure that the party will have a position on this matter. But I'm just telling but you. But most of all, if you saw someone engaging in an electoral mob practice at a polling station where there are policemen right. present, the first thing you could have done was to report to them. You don't have to wait till later, and then the party will come out with a statement. What you are saying now, if you had reported to the police, then you could say, oh. My evidence is that I saw Kofi take a photo of his ballot after voting. I reported to a police officer, and luckily, because of Dampari, all of them have their names on their chest now. But, uh, you can say yeah, I reported to police. But I'm you saying have not done any of that, and, and, and you are speculating now, aren't you? No, I'm not speculating. The party has yet to take a position on that. But I'm saying so that. So the party decided when you went to elections today that if you see anybody engaging in any electoral or practice, you should not report them to the police because. Because it's NPP's what, 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 what I've said does not suggest that we, we, we took a position not to report anybody. But I'm telling you that all that this government got engaged in, as far as the MPP and this by election is concerned, have been the activity of widespread and ethical vote buying. Did that you, is what has happened here on the ground. But the whole did, morning but, till now. But you did not report anybody the whole morning I'm till say, now. I'm saying that. The time you report a crime is not necessary. When you have your evidence, you can always make a complaint. So you, I'm you saying know, that you we are, have, you're obligated, we have evidence. No, you're obligated have, as a citizen to ensure a crime is stopped before it's committed or in the course of the commitment of that crime. If well, you saw that, a crime being committed and waited and decided that you, you that complain point later, of law it means you slept, on your, you slept on your, your rights. That point of law is discretionary. That's what I'm saying that well, as far as we have evidence that a certain act has taken place, it becomes uh, a decision that a party will have to take. 
as to whether would um, would make an official complaint to say that that is a criminal act or not. But I'm just telling you that what transpired in Komewu today is widespread vote buying by senior government officials of gov- of the MPP, the Leonardo led government. That is what they've done so far the whole morning buying votes, paying people to vote. That is what they have done. As to whether we have reported or we have not reported, it's another matter. But what has transpired here is nothing by vote buying. Broad daylight, vote buying, no campaign. They have to cover their shame. Unfortunately, they would have to come and, and battle with the issue of apathy after sharing such huge sums of money. There's a, it's a, a, a huge apathy against the MPP. Did you also not buy votes as a party? We don't buy votes. We so, campaign on issues. So we came didn't, in good faith. You didn't give anybody anything, no money, nothing. Nobody complained about that. But you Because did. we haven't done it. But I'm saying that they've been engaged in nothing but vote buying. They didn't campaign. They had no message. They had no project. They have planted construction equipment thinking that we'll get involved in accidents. They did nothing. What they did here is buying votes. Omaru, nothing more. Do I've you, never seen it in my life. Do you expect to win tonight's uh, election or today's election, or you are just um, trying to prove a point? Generally, uh, it is not only about winning. You don't have to engage in an election just to win. You are engaged in an election, and for us in Kumau, it has exposed government. It has exposed that government is unpopular. It has exposed government conspiracy in terms of doing what is an ethical electioneering process, what we call vote buying. Number three, we have further demonstrated that the MPP is losing its stronghold called Ashanti region because they have not done nothing. We demonstrated that. And even if we get one vote in appreciation of what we have gotten, it means this government is still weak. And it is clear that there's a huge apathy that is coming, going to come out, which means that government have lost popularity. Apart from sharing the money, apart from all the land cruisers they've used, the president have come, the vice president, the people still refuse to vote. We all know that this is their traditional area. This is a predominant MPP area from 1992. NDC have never won. But we've put a good fight. We've worked. The people are happy with us. And whatever the result is, MPP has still lost in, in the face of, of what they ought to generally have gotten. It appears you are going to be heavy on the, the total number or the voter turnout. That, that appears to be what you are interested in. So you're talking already about apathy. Is it your projection that the numbers would be lower than they were in 2020? One would have expected that with the sums of money I've seen them sharing. You know, the, the chairman who who do not own businesses, they do nothing, sharing brand new notes, currencies of 50, 100 Ghana cities and 200 Ghana cities. Where do they get the money from? Where do they get the money from? So these are the ethical issues that we are going to raise. Apart from that, the, if you have shared this amount of money in your own stronghold, it demonstrates how weak you are. It demonstrates your lack of popularity straight away. So it means you don't really... Uh, you are not really hopeful that you would win the election um, based on how you are speaking. You don't think that you this would election only is have win. to wait. You only have to wait for counting to be over to determine your fate. There's no way anyone, anybody will get to know the results of an election until it is counted. But the issues are, are, are in the process. And these are some of the issues that are going to come out of this election. That one, government, the Danado led regime is not popular in their stronghold. Two, it is clear that government haven't done anything here. Three, apart from the activity of being engaged in an unethical vote buying exercise, there is a going to be a huge voter apathy. The people have refused to vote. They've refused to come out, to engage most people to engage in these dirty exercises. Very well. Um, the Electoral Commission itself, what do you make of its conduct? Um, we, we have had... Few pockets, few pockets of uh, complaints about the conduct of few election officers, electoral commission officials. But uh, generally, 
And this emphasis is mine because I haven't had reports gathered from all the other places. But I think that generally uh, it is quite an impressive exercise. Uh, they've been a bit fair, apart from a few challenges. But going forward, we'll sum up the various observations by people who have gone in the various areas and then come to a very you know, conclusive position as to whether they've been fair or not. But my emphasis is that the election has been generally peaceful, and I think we must credit all political parties uh, for that. But condemning the election if the MPP haven't engaged in a widespread activity of unethical vote by sanctioned by government, sanctioned by His Excellency Nana Kufado. He knows about it, and this is what has taken place in Kumangu. Very well. Thank you so much uh, for speaking to us.